This is a film about Don Rickles, who I met in 1969. Let's go! And now, here he is, Mr. Womp himself, Don Rickles! Don has never lost his uh, disdain for sensitivity. I've seen probably his act as, as more than most people, more than I'd like to remember. Clint, I say it, nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy actor. That's enough for me. You see the action? I guess it's from the great tradition of the fool and the jester of the, you know, being there to kind of level the king and keep it real. Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir. And your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me. Is this too fast, Ronnie? Anyway, uh, he's sitting there looking at the program going, where does he say he makes fun of me? Where does it say that? Chinese, Filipino, Japanese. Three years in the jungle looking for your father. Funniest thing for me is watching people respond because they sort of act like they're a little bit indignant. But you know, they're so glad that he picked them that it's just, you know, harumph, harumph. Oh my God, Don Rickles picked me out. Black people can do black jokes, Jews do Jew jokes, Italians do Italian jokes, etc., etc. He does them all and gets away with it because he's hysterical. I wouldn't sit down front. Once, once I learned, I'd sit way in the back. So then he couldn't get at me so easy because I was a target. He really liked to get at me. Oh, you married that schmuck? Or, you know, he was, <laughs> it was Don. Kid about great stars such as you, Bob Waugh, because you're old and washed up. <laughs> but I tell you this, is he laughing? Dean, take a look, see if Bob's laughing. <laughs> if he ain't laughing, show him a picture of Jack. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I kid Jack Benny, a great star, God bless him. Milton Berle, great people. This is wonderful being here at the home. And I say this from my heart. It takes many years to be a great comedian. Sure does. You haven't reached that year yet. 